Hey everybody and welcome back to this little subsection of my 3D printers build log. Now in my previous video I assembled the Transform 3R or the Transformer to the point where I could start to print but I didn't show you how to program the printer. So in this video I'll be showing you how to program the majority of almost all printers even including commercial printers and to make things a bit easier I've included timestamps in the description down below that will navigate to the different things I'll be talking about. But before we come to that, let me explain to my 8 subscribers I had before making the video with Tom Scott uh, what happened. Well, I made a video with uh, Tom Scott. Yeah. No, but in all seriousness though, I was really anxious to stand in front of a camera knowing that hundreds of thousands of people would um, watch me ramble right next to the extremely professional Tom. And I thought people would tear me apart for that or for my accent or who knows for how many other reasons. But there was no, none of that. Instead, over 2000 of you came over to this nerdy channel with eight subscribers and five videos and uh, video quality that really isn't suitable for any more attention than that. And you subscribed. And not only that, the comments you left were so incredibly nice. Those really made my day. And I'm not just talking about the uh, how nice the comments were, but also the way you were able to give constructive criticism was just so nice and really helpful. Now, this is a bit awkward because I planned this to be a rundown of the Marlin firmware, so I better get started with that. Marlin is an open source firmware designed for 3D printers with Arduino compatible microcontrollers and can be found on GitHub, which is linked in the description down below. And although it's designed to be used for 3D printers, it can also easily be used for all kinds of CNC machines, such as engravers, laser cutters, and CNC mills. Now, one word you'll often find in conjunction with Marlin is RepRap, which is an open source project based around the idea of building a 3D printer, which can upgrade and replicate itself by printing its own parts. And this idea is still very much ingrained in most modern 3D printers with a community on pages like Thingiverse offering huge collections of 3D printable parts and upgrades for almost all printers. To set up Marlin, you'll at first need an Arduino compatible board and a driver board. The most basic setup would be the setup that I'm using with an 8-bit Arduino Mega and a RAMS driver board. This is very cheap and also pretty basic in its features. And the fact that it's an 8-bit microcontroller might make it stutter on the complicated calculations that are needed for Delta printers. And seldomly you'll even find the same kind of stuttering on Cartesian 3D printers when there are many fast print moves in succession. But for Cartesian printers, that's usually nothing you should really worry about. Other well-known boards usually have the microcontroller and the driver board combined directly on one PCB and some even go as far as soldering the stepper drivers right onto the board. And examples for those would be the uh, Rambo board, the Sangrino Lolo board and even the commercially available printers like the Ultimaker and the Prusa 3D printers use Marlin. There are drivers available for basically all operating systems and they usually get installed automatically if you plug the Arduino into your computer for the first time. And on top of that, you'll also need a program to edit and upload the Arduino code. The easiest and most common way would be to just use the free Arduino IDE. The code itself, the so-called Marlin firmware, can then just be downloaded from the official Marlin website or from GitHub. And then it's basically just a matter of opening the code with the Arduino IDE editing the variables to fit your printer and uploading it to the Arduino. Most of the settings are very well explained with comments within the code and if they aren't well explained, you'll have no problem finding better explanations online. The last part is of course printing. A normal workflow to prepare a digital object would be to first export it as an SDL file from the 3D modeling software that you're using. That file then needs to be turned into a G-code file, which in turn can be read by the G-code interpreter on the Arduino. To do that, you need to cut the 3D object up into different layers. Uh, the programs that do such tasks are called slicers, and examples are programs like Cura by Ultimaker, Slicer with a 3 instead of an E, and Simplify3D. 
Once you have the G code, you need to somehow communicate the G code with the printer. And you can either send it just over a tethered serial connection using hosting programs like Repetier Host. Uh, you can also copy the G code file onto an SD card and have the printer read the file directly from the SD card or send the file wirelessly to an IoT device like a Raspberry Pi with Octoprint running on it. So that pretty much sums up the software side of this project. I hope that it wasn't too boring, but I really felt that I was keeping a crucial part of building a 3D printer from you. And I didn't want to proceed any further before really covering this part of the build. Now the Transform 3R is coming along nicely, but I'm still learning how to do this entire YouTube thing in a more efficient manner. And although I'm working really hard on it, it could still take a bit until the final reveal of the printer. I'm also working on getting the files and the parts list organized for those of you who want to miraculously torture yourself and build one as well. So with that said, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.